Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome here to Spartan Stadium at Castleton University for the 44th annual Twin State Lions All-Star Soccer Games. My name is Devin Postles, and I'll be taking you through the next 90 minutes for this girls game. And then we're going to take a little intermission. And then we're going to come back for the boys game, which is 90 minutes, two 45-minute halves. Right now, as you see on field, the teams are coming out in there. I believe this is like um, what they do with the, with the World Soccer, like the World Cup and stuff. Um, what is it? Uh, international. I can't think of the word. I'll look it up. But basically, they're going out. They're going to come back together. Then we're going to meet the teams um, as well as the national anthem and get ready to play the game. So, but we're not going to listen to them meet the teams. We're going to go down for live. Uh, we're going to go down for live audio when the national anthem occurs because I got some homework I gotta basically pass into you guys watching at home. So it's two 45-minute halves here at Castleton University. These women on field right now and then the men later on tonight are the best of the best from New Hampshire and Vermont. New Hampshire for both games are in red, and Vermont for both games is green. So you're seeing right here, they're introducing the teams. We got the goalkeeper just stepped forward, and we're gonna go right down the line. Um, we, like I said, we're gonna go for natural sound, not nat, not yet, um, for the national anthem right after this. We meet the teams. They go through the whole lineup, and then of course after that point, they, uh, um, after that point, we go for natural sound for the national anthem. Oh, it is a lovely 83 degrees out here. Um, there was wind earlier. It's gone away, right? You know, as soon as we stepped up to a broadcast position here, it just, Mother Nature said, yeah. Now, you enjoyed the cool wind earlier? Yeah, that's not happening anymore. Folks, I hope you're enjoying the live stream watching at home. Yes, we had said last year we were going to try and do live, and we were unable to get it done. And here we are now, a year later, with the live stream. All right. So I got rosters in front of me that I'm going to try and go through um, when, when, when necessary, like get a name or someone for a goal. Um, it's going to be a... It's gonna be an entertaining day, let me tell you that. We got a nice, got a nice cameraman here with me. His name's Mark Forgione. He'll be on camera. Last year, last year was me on camera with the everything, but I determined, you know, it was great having me do everything, but I should focus on the announcing. So we have him doing the camera. Hunter Shutton, also a part of our team. He is. Our on-field technician, and for those of you going, wait, what is he doing? Basically, basically he is going to be the one running back and forth, making sure everything works fine, everything runs fine. We have GoPro cameras in the nets. Um, we got GoPro cameras in the nets. We also have, uh, of course, the live stream. So we have to. Um, make sure that we have someone on site so if something goes wrong he can quickly google it because you know that's how we run here at dp production group um he can quickly google it and we can get it together back online <coughs> we got a treat coming for you during the uh second game for the boys i believe if all tech goes well we're going to have one of the assistant men's soccer coaches um, for New Hampshire. He'll be mic'd up. What that means is at some point or another in the game, I'm going to look at Mark and say, cut my mic, turn his on, and we're just going to listen 
to the inside talk between an assistant coach and player. Um, we might do it during halftime, depending on who is leading the halftime rally for New Hampshire men. So the New Hampshire Women's Lion Cup team have been announced. Now it's time for the home team of Vermont. In Evergreen. You see them on field, they're kind of blending in. As it's time to go. Time to get ready, folks. Just trying, starting to pace myself. Don't want to wear myself out before the f second game. You know, this is the second year we've covered this amazing all-star game. It, and last year was our first year. I was, that would make sense since this is our second year. But uh, with that being said, last year's game was quite entertaining um, with Vermont basically sweeping both games. Um, New Hampshire boys, men, had a close late game run to try and do something was unable but with the women's they uh the women sorry the women's game uh Vermont was able to basically steamroll the Granite State so now we're in Vermont's backyard as we're in Vermont and does the can dominant dominating performance continue or does the Granite State Team step up this year and bring home victory back to New Hampshire. But last year it was really fun, warm. We were under a we were under a tent, but uh, it's uh, it's good. This second year they enjoyed what we did last year with the coverage. Um, of course, this year we are live. Um, this and also this year because we have multi cameras. This live stream will stay online for about a week or so. And for those of you watching going, whoa, 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 only a week? What are you talking about? Hold on. In a week or so, I will upload two new videos from this game. One women's cup uh, coverage, one men's cup coverage. Both of them will be complete coverage. Basically what you're watching but on top of that, GoPro footage from the Nets, including replays as well. And an, uh, I believe we're going to have a score graphic, just like last year. Um, all of those things will be edited in after the fact um, for uh, in the editing room. But in that time, when I'm putting the other, the final edits together this live stream will remain online so you can tune in rewatch it i know the athletes they were talking to me earlier they're like you know i can't wait to go home and rewatch the game um see how i did see how i looked um so uh we'll uh it'll be fun this is gonna be a lot of fun um like i said the live stream will stay on for about a week then we'll upload another edit of this game it won't be both games put into one video it will be two separate videos um, of the 90 minutes. All right, so they're the Lion Vermont women's team. And at this time, we're going to go to natural sound for the invocation. And then on top of that, the national anthem. Let's head down to natural sound. Thank you. 
on board. Thank you very much. The national anthem will now be sung by the combined Vermont Citizens Flying Cup E Chorus. Right, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Pre-game ceremonies now in the books here from the Spartan Stadium here at Castleton University. Great job by... Okay, sorry. Great job by the Vermont women's team for the national anthem. Even though the mic might have cut out there for a quick second, they'd continued strong. So great job by them. Here's the New Hampshire team. You're looking at them on the screen getting hyped up and ready to go. Getting excited. Alright. Who's ready? Are you ready? The officials are ready. The ball is ready. It's out in the 50. The players are ready. The coaches are ready. The fans are ready. We're ready. Are you ready? How many times can you say ready in a 30 second period? We don't want to find out. We were just looking at the Vermont girls. They're doing a quick game pep talk. There you go. Once again, it's a 45-minute half. Not sure how long halftime is. During halftime, though, I am going to actually cut my mic. So you're going to go to a silence. There's going to be no audio, no music. No, sometimes we'll have, like, music playing. I forgot the aux cord. Um, so <laughs> basically, yeah. Um, there's the New Hampshire girls. Yelling, live free or die as they go running out onto the field. Once again, New Hampshire in red, Vermont in the green. You can even say it's evergreen if you want to get more exact. 45-minute half, Vermont has the ball to start us off. Here from Castleton. Are you ready? Goalie for Castle t uh, Vermont's good. New Hampshire goalie's good. Here we go. Away we go. Right away, Vermont went to the backfield and goes brings a 
basically around the outside, and New Hampshire will clear it out to about the 30-yard line on the football field. Out of bounds. And it is going to be New Hampshire's ball. Vermont turns it, sends it out of bounds. It'll be New Hampshire again. Kick to open field. New Hampshire will turn and clear it. Headed down by Vermont. Oh, and it will get through past the def defense of New Hampshire. Number 17 will take it up. And she'll dissect Vermont. Sends it up. Number 8 for Vermont knocks it down. Now New Hampshire gets through with the run. Gonna go. Who's there? The Vermont keeper will grab it. New Hampshire's number 13 had a run going there, so if Vermont keeper had slipped up at all. Go on to YouTube. DP Production Group. Sorry about that. Ref kicking the ball off the field. We'll have a new ball thrown on. One of the fans in front of us said, is, is this a live stream? Yes, it is. Asked how to get to it, so we told him. That's what that was. So we'll have a kick going in for Vermont just inside the 50. It will get through, and the New Hampshire keep will grab it. Vermont first to it there, as now New Hampshire will take it back. Once again, it's number 17. Number 17, Megan Blanchett. I'm going to learn the name slowly. Just watch. Number six will pass it up to 20, but the pass will not be completed until Vermont got it. Now New Hampshire will take it, trying to get to open field. 11 and 20. Oh, going at it. And it'll go out of bounds in favor of Vermont. Wow. They were going at it there. 23 trying to get it away from, guess what, 23. Oh, no, I'm sorry, 29. Now 19 will pass it back to 17. Once again, Blanchett passes it up into open territory. Who's there? Here comes 20 with the run. Vermont, oh, right down. And the whistle is going to be blown. With a, I believe this is a kick going in. Number 20. So 29 will take the kick here. It will go right toward the wall, but the rebound will be cleaned up by New Hampshire. Now it's number 11 at the top. Oh, and Vermont will break through. Number 6 takes it. Some fancy footwork. We'll send it back to number 17 once again. She'll pass it up to 19, over to 16. Back to 17. I'm, I'm going to learn the names, but for now we're going to run with numbers. 29 passes it up to 11 and Vermont will intersect it and send it up keep grabs it there and we'll clear it out Gonna be kept in bounds by the number nine athlete over there.
keeper will grab that well inside the 18. And we'll clear it out. If you're new to uh, DP Production Group, first of all, welcome. But second of all, if I ever go silent, it's not because like the microphone stopped or anything like that. It's just I'm watching the game, analyzing the game. This way later on in the game, I have a better idea of how things are going to happen. Also, it's hot. That's really what it comes down to. The extra player down there, number 19, got back up. And Vermont's number 6 will take it. Kick it up with the run to 21, but 17. Blanchett will step in front. Ooh. Ball going toward the corner. Number six went down there for New Hampshire. Was able to recover quick. Shot going in, 17 once more will knock it out. And it will go out of bounds for, I believe, a goal kick. Here comes the kick coming out. Can you guess who took the kick? Yeah, you're right, number 17. Number 23 for Vermont will take the shot. 17 will deflect it up and the keep will grab it. Ball will drop into open territory and New Hampshire will tie and turn it around. Vermont takes it and sends it the opposite direction. New Hampshire trying to break through and Vermont will knock them down. Well done. Now New Hampshire trying to do something. We'll stop and turn to give themselves some time there. And Vermont breaks through. Number 16 coming up the sideline. Sends it up to open territory. And the keep for New Hampshire will pick it up. Out of bounds on the far side by the 50, it'll be Vermont. Number two, taking it in. If you're just joining us, 34 minutes to go here in the first half of the Women's Lion Cup.
It's still zero zero. <laughs> If you've noticed, the camera been a little weird. It's apparently because the cameraman wasn't able to see. <laughs> Here comes New Hampshire, number 20, bringing it up the sideline, trying to get to open field. Looking back, we'll pass it back to number 16, who takes it back to 20. Oh, off to Vermont, and it'll stay in favor of New Hampshire. Number 16 drops it in. And Vermont will clear it, try to clear it out, but the keeper will grab it. <sighs> Vermont will get it out of that sticky situation and now with the run here comes number 16 from the Green Mountain State shot on opposite corner and it will go wide <laughs> substitutions here for Vermont well done by number 16 from Vermont that is Natalie oh boy I'm really bad at names I'm just gonna put that out there Natalie Dariex I'm gonna say Dariex I understand. You should see my last name. Pas Lesney written down. It's one of those last names where people question themselves. So I feel bad for butchering people's names. But, you know, I can only sound it out so much. So number 16 had the run, took the shot opposite corner. Lower opposite corner was unable to get it done. Off the goal kick... Goes out of bounds. The ball boy over there. Oh. Sub. Number one coming in for number 20 uh, for New Hampshire. Number 17 for Vermont, down by number 17 from New Hampshire. She was okay, though. Had a nice little spin. Shot on right to the back of her teammate. And Vermont will clear it out. I hate when that happens. Take a shot and it goes right to the back of your teammate. Passes to your teammate are good. Passes to their back are not. Here comes a corner. Low, and Vermont will kick it right back out. And yet another corner coming. The athlete taking the corner kick actually fell to the ground, and now we got another player on the ground right here. I'm not sure the number. We'll get it in a second. Here comes the trainer. You know, here's the thing. It's really, really warm. Although she seems like she's in more or less a injured type of way, not a... Not like a dehydration thing. What exactly happened? Anyone have the replay? Oh, that's right. We don't. Not yet. Not sure the number we're looking at the New Hampshire girls team. Giving the privacy to the athlete who's on the ground. We're going to stay wide here just to kind of both teams being called off saying come get a drink. It makes sense. It's warm. It's a lovely 83 degrees and it's sunny. Not to mention 
on a turf field, which is even hotter. Looking at the scoreboard, there's the time. Excuse me real quick, I'm gonna mute my mic. Okay, never mind. I thought I had a sneeze coming, honestly. Anyways, there's the scoreboard. First half action, it's still 0-0. Castleton on the scoreboard is representing Vermont as they are the home team. Um, and of course, guest is New Hampshire because they don't live here, so they're guests. It's uh, 30 minutes and 24 seconds remain to halftime. It's number 11 from New Hampshire. Kylie St. Francis from Co Brown. She's being helped off. You're seeing her right there. Kylie St. Francis. Kind of tough to tell if what had happened there. Now, was we noticed off the first corner kick that the corner kicker had gone down. I don't know if. I don't know if it's the same person, because um, that that could make sense, you know, go in, fall down, think you're good, get up, and then fall down once more. Well, we wish her a speedy recovery. Hopefully, we'll see her back on field later in this game. Anyways, where were we? New Hampshire has a kick going in here. Just inside the 45-yard line. Drops inside the 18, and it's out of bounds. Goalie was going for it, but basically backed right out of that as soon as they realized it was going out of bounds. Here comes the kick coming out. Vermont trying to have a run, but number 17, Megan Blanchett. Oh, and it's out of bounds. You know, Megan Blanchett, that's, that is a name that we're going to be walking away from this game going, Blanchett, Megan, man. Multiple subs here. There's a list of them. There's one, two, three, four, five subs coming off and coming in for Vermont women. You hear the talk on the field, but amongst the New Hampshire women. With the break, New Hampshire with open territory. Shot on goal! And the Granite Staters are on the board. I believe that was, oh wait, there. Number two, I believe that was number two. We'll get confirmation. Danielle, Danielle, this, the, yeah. Danielle, congratulations, great. He said the last name perfectly and I missed it. So, number two got that goal. So if you're now just joining us, if you're now just joining us, there's the updated scoreboard. 28.55 left. And uh, the Granite Staters are up one nothing. Now, don't forget though, one nothing is not a stable lead at all. Because as we watch Vermont march up the field here. Can turn around. Here comes another run. Number two once more. Looking for the shot. Right to the keeper. Knocks it down. And she'll dive on it. Just in s between the 18 and the 6. Wow. I wish I knew how to pronounce her last name well. Number two is on fire here. She's come to life. As we're 
roughly six minutes away from halfway of this first half. Ooh, there's a adjust my mic here. There was a push to the back. No harm, no foul. Literally. And number 13 off her game for that quick second because she had to adjust her headband. There goes number one down, but it's okay. She's back up. It's getting intense here. It all it takes is one goal and the intensity like jumps. Vermont trying to find open field, but New Hampshire playing really good defense right now. You now this might just be a basketball term, but it's it's a mix between zone and man to man. Because you got some players just in them in a zone, but then some players are on a person. Number one for New Hampshire keeps it in bounds as we go down the sideline. Battles into the corner. They're the best. And not just in hockey, let me tell you that. Vermont will pass it in to number 13. Her headband is still around her neck. She was, has been unable to put it back up. Or maybe she doesn't like it anymore. <laughs> Passed up. 17 on 17. Keeper will clear it out. Vermont trying to do something. Here they come. Tries to get by. No good. Number 17. Oops. Shot on through the uprights, I believe. Is that worth seven? No, I'm sorry. Worth three. Not a football guy. I'm somewhat of a soccer guy. More or less a racing guy, honestly. Catch me at a local short track. Here comes a kick coming out for New Hampshire. Her edge of play went down. She got back up. Oh, another one almost went down there. No, but she'll stay high. Stay up. And now number one. No, her mom will take it back. Pass up. 17 versus 17. You're not seeing double. I promise. That's 17 versus 17 there. Substitution here. 
Oh, maybe not. Number 12 passes into 19 for Vermont. 12 looks for open space, goes right to 17 for New Hampshire, who will pass it up. 18 with seven on her. Halfway through the first half here, it's still one nothing. Oh, hold on. Possible another sneeze. Alright, sorry about that. I think it's the Vermont air that's causing me to like sneeze. I'm just I just don't want to sneeze in your ear. Well no, I mean it's different than New Hampshire. Anyways, back to soccer. <laughs> All right, so yeah, officials said, hey, time out. Halfway through the first half, go get some water. Um, as I said, it's still 83 degrees and sunny here at Castleton University. There's the scoreboard, 21-17 uh, remain. one nothing. New Hampshire leading over Vermont. Folks, I'm going to cut my mic real quick. I'll be back for a quick 30 seconds. Just want to take a drink. Don't want to have you listen to me uh, swallow my water. Be right back. It sounds... All right, coffee break over. Time to get back to work. You're from Spartan Stadium at the lovely Castleton University. Castleton Spartans play here, football, soccer, lacrosse, field hockey. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing multiple games here this fall as actually 
this is where I'll be going to college. No stalkers. Alright. Alright. Whistle blows. We're on to the second half of the first half. If that seems confusing at all, it basically means we have 21 minutes left until halftime. And, you know, right off the bat, Vermont is trying to keep New Hampshire honest. And it's out of bounds. Vermont and ball. It's good, though, because it's... Uh, it's showing that these teams are equally matched, and that's that's good. Ooh, that metal pole is hot. It's also showing that Vermont has the opportunity, and Vermont and uh, New Hampshire clears it out. By the way, sends it long. Vermont sends it, send it, and New Hampshire takes it, says, hey, I want to go this way. Vermont's trying to deter them, though, and it's not going to be any good. Nice little slide there to keep the ball in play. As now New Hampshire's number 10 passes it up. 12 trying to get there. The ball was unable to meet its connecting flight and it goes the other way. Going wide here to kind of see how this plays out. New Hampshire trying to do something. Passes it. Out of bounds, and it will go in the favor of the Green Mountain State. For those of you watching on the live stream, welcome. My name is Devin Paslesny from DP Production Group. Believe it or not, I'm the DP in the DP Production Group name. Whistle blown. My point in saying that, though, is if you're watching on the live stream and you're experiencing buffering or anything like that, and you're you know that let's say your internet's like on point, then uh, send us a message. Either comment on um, on uh, YouTube. I'm seeing a couple of you guys actually are. I didn't even realize this. Um, comment on YouTube, or if you don't have a YouTube account, feel free to message us on Facebook. I'll open up the comment section now. I didn't even realize that. I'm sorry, folks. to answer some of your questions here. I do have the rosters in front of me. I'm just learning them as we go along here. And Willis, I'm sorry. If you do mute us, then... I'm sorry. have a kick coming out here from the Vermont keeper with 1630 left here in the first half. Daddy. 
and New Hampshire will intersect and take it right back, but Vermont says nope. Gets to open space, that was well done. Right through between the legs, here comes 23, but 17 once again intersect that and send it back. But now Vermont's number six takes it. And New Hampshire will start to run. Vermont keeper trying to get back quick, and it will be a corner kick here for New Hampshire. I believe that's number 29 from New Hampshire. I'm going to take the corner. It'll drop in. Who's there? Nobody. It'll go back out. Rebound. Sends it in. And the Vermont keep will grab it. Oh, number 10 right here in front of us went down, got back up though. Oh, and 21 down. Vermont looking for something, not going to get it though. New Hampshire will send it over to open field. Number 20 takes it. Shot on, nobody there for the redirect in. And it will now be, we're going to have some subs. As well as a goal kick. Play by play leaves something to be desired. Tell us what tell us what that is. Tell me what that is. Pretty sure it has to do with the rosters. But I'm just wanting to make sure. Out of bounds that will be in favor of New Hampshire here. Still in play, kept in play, and out of bounds off Vermont. Once again, we'll continue to be New Hampshire's ball. Shot on. And it went out of bounds. We'll have a corner kick here for the Granite State. Shot on going on the other side of the net. And it will get cleared out. Rolls out of bounds in favor of New Hampshire. 12.03 left to half. We have a couple subs. Two, two for New Hampshire.
quick sub there for Vermont women's team. We'll have a kick coming out here for New Hampshire. New Hampshire continues to muscle on through the Vermont defense. Oh, and the ball's going the other direction now. Oh, and almost a trip. Well, almost a call there. Nothing done, though. You just quickly saw that on the screen. Nine thirty remains. During halftime, we're gonna cut my mic. We're gonna kind of have a nice little timeout. I'm gonna take a quick lap around the stadium here, just to move around and shot on on goal. And uh, we have a whistle being blown. Vermont will have a kick going in here. Now, this is just outside the 18-yard box on the far side. You see New Hampshire already building the wall. This could be Vermont's chance to tie it up. New Hampshire goalie sending out orders to the wall. Refs move the wall back. Number 16 for Vermont takes the kick. Gets through into the outside of the netting. So no goal. That was a situation of close but no cigar. <laughs> See the scoreboard there and in the shot, 7.35-ish remains. I say ish because it was counting down. Vermont inside the 18. New Hampshire knocks it down and it'll go out of bounds. And they're saying it's a goal kick. A couple of the Vermont players arguing that fact. It's all good though. So we'll have a kick coming out here for the Granite State with seven re minutes remain. Remember the clock for soccer stops at two minutes and it goes to the ref's time. Some refs added on to the end of the game so at we could end right at the scoreboard time and then have extra minutes later or we could have extra time added on to the first half here. We'll have to see. Vermont's got a sub. One coming on, one coming off. Oh, and now New Hampshire's got one coming on, and Vermont has three coming on. Kick went out there. And New Hampshire number nine had one on. Sends it back to 17 who will send it up. Number 13 trying to do something. And Vermont's 18 with the fancy footwork. Keeps it in bounds and takes it away. 
And now New Hampshire, they play close to that yellow line. That was, oh, that was dangerously close. But the official standing right there says it was in up until a few feet later. Well, off the throw in, New Hampshire loses it. Vermont will take it. Out of bounds off of the New, Hamp New Hampshire's number 20. Nice little chip over the num number 9 from New Hampshire. Cross there. One on. And the keeper will grab it. Vermont had a chance there. We'll have a throw in here from New Hampshire's number nine, right to 19, who will pass it back to nine. Nine will send it to number two across field. Number two was the one who has scored the one goal for New Hampshire. Now 20, takes it to the outside of the 18, crosses, and the keeper will grab it. 3.45 remains. Oh, nice little deflection there by the keeper. You know, I was a little afraid there for a second, but she was able to deflect it out. Away from everything. Vermont will clear it out toward the 50. It's going to bounce and New Hampshire will pick it up. Number nine, looking at 20, crosses it to the middle by the top of the 18 to 13. 14 from Vermont takes it away, sends it to 18, or 16, my bad, from Vermont. Now sends it up, 17 will deflect it, and it's going to roll out of bounds. 230 remains. When push comes to shove, you know the intensity just stepped up another notch. Clock continues to run as we reach the two minute marker. One forty remains off the kick. Sends it to 20. Vermont's number 12 will take it though. Pass it up. Vermont trying to do something. Crosses it, no one there. Ball's gonna roll, roll, roll out of bounds in favor of New Hampshire. You know, Vermont is sitting here wanting to tie this up before we head into half. One minute remains, well, one minute now. Sorry, I was about five seconds early. One minute to halftime. Vermont trying to do something, it'll go out of bounds. Going to a corner. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. There's the pass. 
sent to open territory looking who's there cross shot on outside of the net 20 seconds Vermont just stepped up their game here in the last minute or two 10 seconds remain five three one and there you go, folks. That's the end of the first half here from the Women's Lions Cup here at Castleton, Stadi or Castleton University here at Spartan Stadium. There's the score. Vermont trailing New Hampshire by just one goal. Folks, I'm going to cut my mic. I think we have about 10 minutes or so as a halftime for these players and teams to go have a meeting and kind of get some water and chill out. Either way, I'm going to cut my mic. I'll be back for the second half. Oh, I'm sorry. It's 15. 15 minutes. We'll see you in 15. We'll see you in 15 minutes for second half action. Don't go anywhere. one nothing New Hampshire leading over Vermont. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Timer has come to an end. New Hampshire girls leading one nothing over Vermont. Ready, ready. Let us natural sound real quick here. Beautiful. Live free or die. Amazing. And then there's Vermont getting ready. All right, so I downed about three bottles of water during halftime. Last thing I want to do is pass out on you guys. Are we ready? Are you ready? We're ready. Athletes are ready. We, we went through this already. Ready? Waiting for the game ball to be tossed out. <sighs> Vermont keep ready. Officials are ready. Away we go. New Hampshire requested to have the ball first for the, or I don't know exactly who won the coin toss. So New Hampshire has the ball first to open up the second half. New Hampshire has it on the far side there and it will continue to get moved around. Remember they switched sides so in the first half the ball going to the left side of the field meant New Hampshire had the run but now it would mean Vermont and vice versa. Once again, just staying quiet because I'm analyzing, keeping an eye, thinking about what's going on here to get an idea of how these guys are going to open up the second half. Don't forget, the sun will start to set. So that's going to change the shadow direction, of course, and sun glare. Sun sets over, I guess, around the uh, light pole on the right, far right side of the field the way it's been trailing towards at least.
We'll have a kick going out here for Vermont. Questionable situation there, number two in the middle of the field saying, come on. Looking for something. New Hampshire will pass it up here. Number nine from the Granite State takes it. 15 from the Green Mountain State will take it and now with the run passes it up to open field. 21 passes it and New Hampshire will clear it out. With the run, number 13 and the Vermont Keep will grab it. What a moment right there. Kicked out of bounds there and clear into the fans on the other side of the field. <laughs> Grassy Knoll. Right after this game, the men's teams arrive on field, start their warm-ups. We'll have pre-game ceremonies for them, and then we'll have two 45-minute halves to determine who's the best of the best on the men's side of things. All in the same live stream, so if you're thinking, okay, how do I get to the men's game, just stay right where you are. Oh, and we got a kick going in for Vermont here. <coughs> kick sent in, and the New Hampshire keep will grab it. Some slight cloud covers coming on in here. Kind of taking the sun glare factor away from the game here. <laughs> Vermont passing it back and forth here out of bounds in favor of New Hampshire. Crossed over and out of bounds. Okay. We'll have a corner kick here from New Hampshire. And now we'll have a goal kick.
You're seeing a lot of equal play here. New Hampshire continuing to try to break through, and they are able to send the ball back, but the Vermont keeper will grab it. And now New Hampshire resets. Substitutions here. Two for New Hampshire coming in, two for New Hampshire coming off. Passed in. And out. New Hampshire with the throw in there, redirects it. And here comes the ball into the stands. Subs coming in. I believe we got three for Vermont. will throw it in here down to the corner number 11 from Vermont will knock it down and it will go out of bounds and in favor of New Hampshire crossed over who's there New Hampshire with the redirected no good uh, number 13 Hold on, looking at the roster. Madeline Austin, number 13. We got a corner kick coming here. Can't tell the number on the kicker for the corner for New Hampshire, but here it comes dropping in. Gathered back up and oh, so close. Right over the crossbar, number 19. Right over the crossbar, hit the crossbar for the football post. Number 19, that's Kyra Easter. Now you see in the field moving the other way. As now, New, as soon as I say that, New Hampshire sent the ball the other way. Keep will pick it up with no pressure at all. Now with the run, ball sent back. Vermont trying to tie it up, and it will get saved. The number 17 down, both 17s down. And there goes the ball back the other direction. Number 14 for Vermont, trying to turn it back around. Was unsuccessful the first time, but was able to do it the second time. Stops for number 12 for New Hampshire.
The New Hampshire keep going for a run. We'll keep it in bounds. Oh, Vermont going to get that ball redirected out. Vermont had about four subs just come in. And the ball will go out of bounds. Here comes a kick coming out for Vermont's keeper. Substitution here for New Hampshire. So the keeper will get the green light to take the kick. 15 minutes down, 30 to go. And in the first 15 minutes, you know, we've seen both teams have their opportunities, but New Hampshire seems to have that one more. It's interesting to see, honestly. The, the field seems to be tilted toward the Granite State's end. And now Vermont, number 17, with the run. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, and the call is the kick's going the other way. Wow. <laughs> my, oh my. New Hampshire with the kick out. New Hampshire will fight to the end. The ball bounce has out of bound there, and we got some subs coming on. Here comes the kick. Number 29 takes it. It's going in. Oh, and it will get punched out by the Vermont keeper. But New Hampshire says, wait, we're not done yet.
Now your player went down, number seven. Allison Gallen. She's okay. Oh, speaking of okay, the player from New Hampshire who went down earlier off the corner kick had to have the trainer come out and help her up. She's okay. Um, we be or the trainers believe that she just had a little bit of a heat heat exha exhaustion situation. It's okay. I'm not even playing soccer, and I'm feeling heat exhaustion, honestly. But she got she got the medical attention she needed by the trainers, and she's right back on the bench looking to get into the second half, as I believe the coach from New Hampshire is looking to do it as well. So I'm glad to see that she is okay. Or here, that she's okay, that is. You're going to see New Hampshire is not giving up. Shot on, and the Vermont keeper will grab it. Number 29 for New Hampshire went down. She is okay. Twenty-three fifty remains. As we'll have a kick going in here for the Granite State. Subs coming in now. Two for Vermont, one for New Hampshire. As the goalie will have a kick, a kick out. And New Hampshire has, oh, down goes 12 for Vermont. And New Hampshire will have a throw in here. No, no, but the Granite State has perfected the art of getting the ball to open space and advancing up the field with that. Some Vermont uh, parents calling for handball there. The whistle's blown and Two minute water break here. I'm gonna cut my mic real quick. Get a drink myself. I'll be right back.
I just want to say before we get the game back underway, great job by the my cameraman today, Mark Forgione. He's sitting over here, exhausted, hot. He's blending in well with all of us. But uh, great job by him. He's doing one heck of a job. He's filmed sports for me before, but I don't think at this caliber, this level, you know, all-star game, it's something else. And away we go, by the way. Oh, and the goalie goes down. Okay, though, she's back up. Vermont gets to that one first. We'll send it over. 21 minutes. We've entered the final half of the second half here. Don't forget, folks, this is the only edit of this game that is coming your way. Give us about a week or so, and we'll have another edit of the game coming, uploaded onto our YouTube channel. What's the difference, you ask? Well, the other edit will include GoPro footage from inside the nets, as well as replays of, so far, or the one goal that has occurred. Of course, we have 20 minutes left. So, there could be other goals happening. You can kind of see the sun, the brightness of the field has gone down. There's not many shadows left out there. As uh, the sun is starting to set behind the clouds. For those of you who may not know, it's supposed to rain here in New England tomorrow. And you can start to see those clouds coming in. subs there for Vermont. Vermont still behind. Trailing by one goal. 18.55 remains. So we got plenty of time still. So don't, uh, don't give over the award quite yet. New Hampshire had a sub there. Mm -hmm. 
New Hampshire. Oh, sorry, Vermont with the run. Saw the New Hampshire player first, but really it was Vermont that had the run. New Hampshire player down. There's the whistle. So we got a sub here. Vermont is going to... Oh, sorry. We're looking at the boys' soccer team. Sorry, the cameraman was pointing at me. That makes sense. Boys' soccer team, that means the boys' game is coming up soon. Back on our field. Corner kick for Vermont. Going to try and get in there, and it's not that, not that New Hampshire clears it out. That was the New Hampshire boys soccer team in red over there. Of course, as soon as we put the camera on them, they all like ran. They must have heard their heard their name. It was like, oh no, guys, get off the field. We're seen. Remember, after this game, we'll have the award ceremony for the for the girls here. And then we'll cut our mic for a little while. I have to go down with my pal Hunter and uh, switch out GoPros. Mike up the assistant boys soccer coach, Mr. Michael Foley. Yes, I said Mike up, meaning at any moment I could say, you know what, let's just go downstairs to him. Vermont right here, looking to turn, there's the shot and the New Hampshire keep will grab it. It cleared out by the New Hampshire keeper. And you know, we got 16 minutes left plus some stoppage time, I bet. And we're seeing Vermont coming to life. Final minute or final part of the game. Time to go. And, you know, it's, and here we go. Vermont making a run on the outside. Number 22 for New Hampshire trying to deter. And she will as the seven, number seven for Vermont runs out after it. Sub here, one and one for both teams. Two and 20 coming on. One and 11 coming off. I have a throw in here from Vermont. There it is. There's a kick. Oh, oh so close. Kick was taken. Well done there by Vermont. You know, you got to go for the opportunities you have seize the moment and they just did that was quite spectacular if you're gonna be a champion of the all-star game you gotta go for it 110 percent one thing i'm wondering is you know new hampshire's kind of seem to take a step in the all right all right so uh we just had a couple subs a couple subs just came in also the ref was speaking with the new hampshire coach from the field
13 minutes remain here in the second half. 13 minutes left in the girl, Women's Lions Cup for 2018. Now, number four for Vermont. Sends it up to seven. Seven, oh, and I believe it's called offsides. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh -huh, yes, that was called offsides. Oh. Uh. Oh. Such a close moment. So number 17 for New Hampshire, clearing it out. There goes. You know, it's just as soon as I put my sunglasses in the bag, the sun peeks back out. Vermont says, you know, we're not going to give without a fight. And by the way, exactly what I was talking about with New Hampshire seeming like they're out of steam. Though that was exactly what the ref was saying. Play. Tell your girls to play. It's a tough call to make, honestly. I have no opinion on it. But we're seeing that the two teams now starting to ramp back up. If you're just joining us, welcome here to Castleton University at Spartan Stadium for the 2018 Twin State Lions Soccer Association All-Star Game. Games, I guess you could say. My name is Devin Pass Lesney. I got the action from behind the mic called for you. Right now you're watching the Women's Lions Cup. It's New Hampshire leading Vermont 1-0 with 11 minutes remain in the second half. Oh, the New Hampshire player right here, number 20. It's got some, um, I was going to say serious turf, burn, but she actually doesn't um, off that slide. You can see right in front of us here, the awards are starting to get laid out. You know, the game's almost over when the, when the hardware makes its appearance on the field. Who will walk away with what? That's the question. Don't forget, they do sportsmanship, MVP. So let's... It's going to get good. After the awards, boys warm up, and then we have the boys game right here. Don't go anywhere. Men's Lions Cup 2018 takes place, ends under the lights. This place is beautiful, lit up. Never seen it in person, but I've seen pictures. That was out of bounds, and it will be returned to New Hampshire. One nothing. One is a, a lead. Slim at that. Vermont trying to make it through, but New Hampshire just literally knocking them down. And the whistle's blown. Oh, good header. Sent her to the ground. She's up, though. Don't worry. Number 17, that's playing Chad. Substitution here for Vermont. 17 on, 19 off. With less than nine minutes to play. 8.33 to be exact. And Vermont says, hey, we like the ball down here. They'll take it. 
Got to fake him out. Number 10 for New Hampshire and 17 for Vermont going out. It's still in play. Vermont coach says handball. No, there's no handball there. Slide steal, no good. I don't want to say slide tackle, but, you know, chipped in. Vermont takes it. It's still in bounds, might I add. And now it's out of bounds and in favor of New Hampshire. Substitution. One for Vermont coming on. One or twelve coming on. Two coming off. Number twelve on. Number two off. Oh. Number 29 for Vermont continues on though. <laughs> Sent it long and New Hampshire will pick up the ball. Keeps it in inbounds for only so long. It will go out and it will be Vermont's ball. Vermont has the throw. It will just on the outside of the 18 over there. And now we got a corner kick for the Green Mountain State. This is getting good, folks. Within six and a half to play, not including stoppage time. But within six and a half to play, it's getting intense. Kick coming in. Who's there? New Hampshire will knock it down. And number two takes it up. And they'll go out of bounds. Throw in for Vermont. They have some ground to make up. 5-5-5 five, five, five left. There's the run, number 17 versus 17. This is the matchup of the game, might I add. Oh, and there's 17 for Vermont goes down. New Hampshire 17 picks it up. Vermont's will knock it down and it will become New Hampshire's ball. Can you tell that I'm a racing announcer? Because I got the speed. <laughs> Don't have the breath, but I have the speed. Vermont, number three, chips it over. New Hampshire, 17, knocks it down. <clears throat> Vermont, oop, nice, nice, nice ball control right there. Why is she an all-star? Well, just rewind a little bit. Watch there. New Hampshire, number 13 with the run. Vermont, three, trying to keep it away. Will knock it out. Out of bounds. Corner kick for New Hampshire. Remember, folks, if you're watching on YouTube and you have a YouTube account, comment. Let us know what you think of the coverage. If you don't have a YouTube account, but you have Facebook, message us there. Let us know. I always love feedback. Positive or negative. Number 29, going to take the kick here. Gonna drop and it'll get cleared out, but hold on. Has open room, shot on, it will get deflected out. Nice job by the keeper, number 20. Gabby. Gabby Gosselin. Sorry, I had to think about that last name for a minute. Well done. We'll have another kick here from number 29. It will go over. Who is there? Nobody. Headband down on the ground. She's okay. Number 13's getting up. And now Vermont takes it back. Within four minutes of play. <coughs> this is what an all-star soccer game is all about. Last, last minute excitement. If you have hung around the whole game, you stuck around for the best part, in my opinion. Up. 
ball going to open territory. New Hampshire will clear it up. And the keeper will grab it. Into open territory. New Hampshire's number 10 knocks it down, passes it up to 9. Over, uh, 9 29, might add. 10 sends it up, out of bounds, into the stands. Have a souvenir. Just kidding, toss that ball back. Number three here will take the throw. 29, knocks it down, no to four. Oh, back over to 29, trying to do it. Ah! And New Hampshire will get through within two minutes of play. How much stoppage time do we have? Vermont just needs one to get pulled right back into this. Minute and a half remains in open territory. Vermont sends it up number seven to the far corner. Can she get there? No, she can't. And it'll be a goal kick for New Hampshire. One minute and 10 seconds remain. Take a deep breath. Grab. The brown paper bag, it's about to get crazy. New Hampshire will clear it out within a minute of play. Once again, what type of stoppage time do we have? If any, we have to have some stoppage time. 40 seconds. Vermont sends it up. New Hampshire's first to it. Out of bounds. It will be Vermont's ball. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. No stoppage time added. New Hampshire is victorious. In the Women's Lions Cup for 2018. It's 1-0, the final score here in the Women's Lions Cup. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to go to natural sound any second now for the post game ceremonies. But one heck of a game indeed. New Hampshire walking away victorious. Vermont cannot walk away with their head down because they put up one heck of a fight in their on their home turf. All right, so now let's head down to Natural Sound for post-game ceremonies.
district governor, Liz Sedwick, and it goes to the owner, Tiger. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our coverage of the 2018 Women's Lions Cup All-Star Soccer Game. Congratulations to the New Hampshire women once again on your 1-0 win over the Green Mountain State of Vermont. If you're looking for the men's coverage of the Lions Cup, make sure to go back onto the DP Production Group YouTube channel and find the video that says Men's 2018 Lions Cup all-Star Soccer Game coverage. You'll find the full game there. But until we see each other for that video and or future videos produced by DP Production Group, I'm Devin Postlasny signing off. Have a great night, everybody, and thanks for tuning in. So long, everybody.